This is Belkin's new Qi 2 3-in-1 charger for your iPhone, Apple Watch, and AirPods. It offers 15 watts of charging for your iPhone, fast charging for your Apple Watch, and while it looks a lot like the older Belkin 3-in-1 model, it actually fixed all the problems I had with it. Then it did add one quirk, which we'll get into. In the box, it's pretty simple. You get the new Belkin Qi 2 3-in-1 charger, and it does come with the power brick, which is not always the case. And just to give you a little side-by-side -side comparison, this is the older Belkin 3-in-1 charger with the new Qi 2 model. First thing is you can see the base takes up a little less surface area, so that'll be nice to get more nightstand room. And one of the biggest new features is the swiveling iPhone mount. So this Qi 2 charger, which you'll notice is now black because you can have different materials since it's Qi 2 and still offers the same 15 watt charging as typical MagSafe, you now get a full 90 degree tilt on the iPhone charger. So as you can see, I can put my iPhone on the charger and it's pretty much perpendicular to the desk, but I can also tilt it pretty much all the way facing straight up and it's still gonna be charging the iPhone. And that's a huge improvement over the previous model where there was no tilting. This thing was just stuck in that position no matter what. The second improvement is barely noticeable just looking at them, but the Apple Watch charger, which it does do fast charging for your Apple Watch, Series 7 and newer and Ultra 1 and 2. On the older model, sometimes when you put your Apple Watch on the charger, it would kind of tilt a little bit or sometimes fall to the side, but they changed the angle slightly of that Apple Watch charger. So now when I put it on there, it stays much more firm doesn't tilt back and forth. So whatever minor change they made to that Apple Watch charger, I appreciate it. And it might be a slightly stronger magnet too because it really stays in the position I put the Apple Watch. Which again, the older models of the Belkin 3-in-1, it would kind of fall to the side sometimes. It's not doing it right now, but it was often the case. And you get the similar pad on the bottom for charging your AirPods. Like the older model, there's no alignment magnet here on the bottom pad, so you do have to make sure the AirPods are placed properly. But you could also charge these on the Qi 2 charger if you'd like, or even on the Apple Watch side of the charger and that all works too. So all those improvements are great and honestly makes me prefer the newer Qi 2 model. But there was one change, and you may or may not like this, the older Belkin 3-in-1 model had a barrel style charger and it was removable. So if you did want to just take the base or disconnect it from the cable, you could do that. It was a proprietary barrel connector, but it was separatable. The new one actually has a braided USB-C cable, but it is attached to the base and it is non-removable. It is a nice cable, braided kind of cloth, has USB-C on the other end, but non-removable. On a nightstand, you probably won't ever have to deal with this or take it out, but just keep it in mind, it is now part of the base, you can't take it out. Now I wanna compare it to some of the other three-in-one chargers I have, but just so you know, it is $150, comes in black and white. This has been the same price for Belkin's three-in-ones since they came out with the iPhone 12, and I've used every model. I like the tree style charger. And now that you can actually pivot the phone side up and down, makes it really nice. I also make it a habit now to check with the wireless consortium's Qi 2 device database. And you can see that it is licensed as a Qi 2 charger. I'll put a link to this database down in the video description, especially if you're just looking on chargers on Amazon and you wanna know, is this actually Qi 2 certified? You can look up any brand or device that is licensed and it'll come up here. So for the past few months, I've actually been using the 12 South High Rise 3 Deluxe as my three in one charger on the nightstand. I did a whole video review on it. I'll link it above and down in the description, but I do love the design of the High Rise 3 Deluxe. One difference is the Apple Watch charger is actually movable. So for some reason, if you wanna have it standing up 90 degrees or laying down, you can do that. Talking about surface area of the base, it's probably pretty similar. It's a different shape. So depending on your nightstand and where you're gonna be putting it, it might be more useful. But I will say when it comes to pivoting the iPhone charger, the Belkin 3-in-1, again, goes almost perpendicular. And then you can go all the way upwards like that. Whereas the high rise 3 Deluxe is a little more limited motion. That's as far down as it'll go, and that's as far up. I'm not sure how often you'll use that straight up orientation of the iPhone on the Belkin 3-in-1, but it's nice to have that range. And just so you know, the high rise 3 Deluxe is also that proprietary barrel connector. It is not USB-C. I do feel like on these nightstand chargers, it's not as big of an issue because you're not disconnecting and connecting a lot, but just so you have that information. One of the other Qi 2 chargers that I recently tested was this Anchor Qi 2. This is less for a nightstand and more for travel, and I just went on a trip and used this throughout the entire trip and really loved it. This is also a three-in-one where you have the Qi 2 iPhone charger there. You can change the angle a little bit, but that's also limited because this is actually the AirPods charger. So you would do that there. And the Apple Watch charger is hiding underneath. Flip that out. USB-C port here on the side because this is actually coming out the back. You could definitely use this on your nightstand, but when it comes to travel, this has been my favorite three-in-one when I'm on the go. It's really compact once it's all folded up. And yes, it is actually certified Qi 2. Now there are some other alternatives that I haven't tried yet, like this ESR Qi 2 3-in-1. This also does iPhone, Apple Watch, and AirPods. You can see the Apple Watch charger actually detaches and it doesn't look like this swivels up and down, so a little more stationary. 
but it is about half the cost at $73. And yes, this 3-in-1 ESR is licensed in the Wireless Power Consortium for Qi 2. I've tested multiple ESR chargers and I actually use their car charger, which is Qi 2. Love that one. It's actually one of the more inexpensive car chargers. I'll link to that video review above and down in the description as well. And links to all these chargers will be down there if you want to pick one up. But overall, I'm going to give the new Belkin 3-in-1 Boost Charge Pro 4 out of 5 stars. Solid 3-in-1 charger. It has Qi 2. I love that you can now pivot this iPhone charger. Solve the Apple Watch tilting back and forth. The permanently connected cable, you may or may not like that. But I'm glad it's USB-C and a power brick is in the box. If there's other Qi 2 or 3-in-1 wireless chargers you'd like me to test out, leave comments below this video. I do want to check out this ESR 3-in-1, so... I might be reviewing that soon, so subscribe to the channel. And there's also Qi 2 battery packs that are coming out. I already reviewed one from Anchor, which I really love. Also took it while traveling. Definitely came in handy while I was at a conference. But it is a little thick, and there are smaller versions coming from Belkin, Mophie, and other brands. So again, stay tuned. Hit that like button before you go. And I'll put one of the reviews for these wireless chargers right up here. And while you're waiting your phone to charge, maybe you want to learn how to build some shortcuts. We'll have an entire playlist on shortcuts, starting with my Shortcuts 101. Has seven easy shortcuts, and then lots of other shortcuts you can check out right up here. And keep those shortcuts requests coming. I'll be doing regular shortcuts request videos right here on the channel. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time.